bro, reparations are for fucking okay? Um, black people need to just stop being lazy. We're, you're not going to get a fucking handout, okay? We're not going to give you your reparations because guess who's going to have to pay for that shit? The middle class is going to have to pay for yes. it. Yes. Let's keep it a thousand. You niggas get your reparations. What you going to do with it? You going to buy a bunch of some Jordans? Some fucking drugs? Some weed? They're going to buy some weed. Yeah. Yo, nigga. Yeah. What good, my You going to buy, you gotta buy some Fendi? You gonna buy some bullshit. Buy some guns. You gonna buy some guns. Rob like, niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you niggas aren't go, gonna spend the go money back, and invest. Go back to jail. Majority are gonna do criminal shit. Yep, hundred percent. Come on, man. Let's keep it a million. Buy Let's keep it rim. all the way a million. Buy some rims. Oh yeah, look at that shit spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that shit spin. Oh, stupid, bro. bro. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas, man. The, the nigga shit, man. Oh, just give me a hand, bro. Listen, so I could go fucking do shit with it. I tried being a nigga for like six months. That shit, nigga. <laughs> 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 Bro, yo, listen, man. The big monkey chains yeah. and all that. I tried that shit to get shit retarded. <laughs> I tried to assimilate to these niggas, man. That shit was ass, dog. Yo, 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 nigga. Okay, I know I can't speak. But niggas be like, what's good, bro? Yo, let's go, nigga. I was like, what'd you say? Like, you high on lean and shit. I'm oh, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you want something? I'm like, the no. niggas be mumbling and shit. Yeah. Bro, it's, it's tough, man. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it, it was fun. Hey, man, f niggas, you're not getting your reparations, okay? You stupid. F like, it's not happening, all right? Not it happened. I tried to convince myself that I was not going to talk about this particular video that went out on X the other day. And I'm, by the way, recording this on October 2nd, 2024. And I said to myself, I probably won't talk about it. But then I said, let me know what. Fuck it. Why not? But let me tell you something right now. I am not even remotely upset or pissed at what these two knuckleheads was talking about in this video because this is on par for them. How many times have we talked about them in the past? Any kind of animus that I've already had, especially for Myron, I've already gotten out of my system. Really, this video just proves without the shadow of a doubt how lame these two are and how everyone does not need a platform nor do they need a microphone. Yes, we already know that these two are very anti-black American. Let me let me be clear. They are anti-black American because look at the subject matter in which they were talking about. They kept talking about how black people were not going to get reparations. We need to stop looking for handouts. And can you imagine what black people would be like if they got them? They up there talking about they would get weed. They would get we would get drugs. We would get weed. We would get firearms. You even had Fresh Prince CEO talking about we would get spinner rims. Who the fuck rides around in spinner rim with spinner rims on in 2024? We haven't seen spinner rims or spinner rims hasn't been a thing since like the early to mid 2000s. Like what the hell are we talking about? Like you are late as hell. Even saying that as a joke falls flat if you even meant it as a joke. That's how lame these two individuals are. And we already know Myron's shtick. He only does this because he tries to get an arousal out of black people. That's really all he, the reason he does this. For all we know, he could mean what he's saying. Nine times out of ten, he probably does. Or he probably doesn't because he likes and craves the attention of people saying, you know, cussing him out. And it's like he gets, a, a, it's like he gets pleasure out of that. It's like he gets a pleasure out of seeing black people pissed at him for the shit that he says in pertaining to black people. And he does it often. I always tell people the foundation of every grifter's grift is the deg degradation of black or foundational black Americans. These two right here who are non FBA proved my point. And there's several others, but these two right here, they've been going at it for the longest. And you, But you want to know what's really funny? You want to know what is funny? And this goes to Myron and his co-host. Y'all were the ones that got demonetized on several platforms in the last year. That's what's funny. Your money flow got interrupted in a major way on a lot of platforms, the most recent one being on X. Y'all only have Rumble now. If that's gone, what the hell are you going to do? Just stay on X and continue to say all types of shit? Like, and the thing is, you're not even going to get paid. So what's the point? You're just basically, at this point, you're grifting for free. I don't know who how, who, and how anyone could possibly do something like that. I don't have the time to even, do, even try to get paid to grift. That grifting makes me, the thought of wanting to grift makes me itch. I don't know how people do it, but these two right here, 
know how to do it well, especially Myron. Amron Foodle. He definitely knows how to do it. He's been grifting ever since he got a mic placed in front of him and a camera placed in front of his face, and he was able to plaster himself all over the goddamn place. From failed yacht parties and and to those who spent all that money to go on that yacht to do whatever it is that y'all was doing. Y'all are as dumb as they are. But hey, that's your money. You can go ahead and, and spend your your several months rent, a mortgage, a car note, and then some other stuff for a, a one night on a boat that where shit did not even pop off like that. Or at all. From based on the pictures and the videos and the images that I have seen, it looked like it was a bad time. And anyone who told you otherwise is lying their ass off. But you want to know what's even more funny, and this goes to Myron again, is this is the same dude who not once, not twice, but as far as I know, three times on three separate occasions went into a white supremacist X space and got talked down like a dog on there and while he wasn't on there. And all he had was a little bit of smoke like a little puppy. And he just went on his way. And I bet you he's probably going to go back again for a fourth time because he hasn't learned his lesson. Remember, this is the guy who said that he was an ally. See, that's why I told you I picked up on his grift. He thinks that talking down on black people, especially black Americans, is his, is his ticket in. That's what he thinks. They probably could have been on that space. Well, I take that back. They were on that space because we actually heard it. We saw like the recording when people put it out there. They were talking about us, but that's to be expected. We know that. But here's the thing, Myron, Amron Foodle, you're not white. Never have been, and you never will be. The fact that you keep trying is absolutely pathetic on your part. This whole thing that you got going on, this thing that he has that he's doing, is absolutely pathetic on his part. This is a grown ass man. This dude is like in my age bracket. I think he might be slightly older than me and he acts like a fucking child. I, you know what? I take that back. I don't know many kids that act like this. He is very, this is why I say age does not define maturity. And this proves it. This right here proves it. Like I said, I'm, I can't even bring myself to be upset or mad at him and his co-host for what they just said in the video that you just put because I'm not surprised. I'm not in the least bit surprised by anything that either one of these goddamn fucking idiots said in this video. I'm not. I refuse to raise my damn blood pressure. At the end of the day, however, they love to say how black people don't do shit, we're lazy, this, that, and the third. Guess what, Myron? Our existence gave you a platform. Now let's talk about it. As a matter of fact, all of these grifters who degrade us on a daily basis, if it wasn't for us just simply existing, your ass wouldn't have a platform. Hell, let's take it back even further. Historically, if our ancestors weren't here, this establishment wouldn't be able to hold itself up. Let's talk about it. Myron, if we didn't exist, your family wouldn't be able to come over here from Sudan. So you can get on the internet and talk shit all day, every day about us. Even though none of us have done a goddamn thing to you. You probably don't even hang around black Americans anyway, but you see what other people have done and said about us and you see it as a quote unquote come up for them. So you said, you know what? Let me take the easy route and do the same exact thing. Well, one thing I've learned from business years ago when I was in my early 20s, if it's easy, it's sleazy. And Myron is as sleazy as they come on this internet, on the World Wide Web, him and his co-hosts are some of the biggest lames I have ever encountered digitally. It's sad. It really is sad. It is sad and it is a shame. They could be out there talking about something so much more productive, but they managed to find a way to come up and sit on their platform every day or at the very least every week and have something to say about us. And don't think that just because I'm hammering down on Myron that I haven't forgotten what Fresh Prince CEO just said, because he was saying him being a nigga is, is hard or is whatever, whatever bullshit he said. Uh, 
fool. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? By him just saying that he's already told you he's, he's different from us. Well, thank you for drawing a line in the sand because we already been did that. This is exactly why us uh, black Americans have said delineate. This is why we refer to people like Fresh Prince CEO that while he is heavily melanated in color, he is definitely a tether and so is Myron. This, these two right here, are your prime examples of tethers. So when people get upset, when black people say that word, this right here, these two are prime examples of what we're talking about when we say the word tether. They get up here all the time, talk shit about us, even though we do not think about them every single day. But they managed to get on here and talk to uh, say all kinds of shit and bring up reparations and saying where it's going to come. See, right there, he's already lying because that's not where it would come from. But we know where he got that talking point from. The same people whose spaces he keeps trying to slither his weight into every chance he get, but they kick his ass right on out. That's where he gets it from. And they don't know what the hell they're talking about either. But he sits up here. They sit up here all day and they talk shit about us even though we don't talk about them and if we do talk about them like i'm talking about them now it's usually in response to this bullshit that they said but like i said i'm not even mad i'm not even mad because for what why like i said he gets an arousal out of it he probably looks through the comment section and thinks that it's hilarious as a matter of fact he does and let me prove to you why i say he does this for attention look at this post he made right here this was the post that was made underneath the video now the video was not shared uh by him on his page it was captured by uh, another x account and they reposted it and myron got wind that it, it was um they they reposted his video and underneath it he left this comment he said lmfao all the blacks in the comments prove me right all death threats and no one refuting my points he again he's doing that because he feels like he's a natural born gaslighter and when i tell you people under those posts it wasn't that many people of under there threatening him i promise you that it was more people calling him a clown and an idiot and a fool and a host of other things but a lot of them or from what i saw was not threatening his life or saying anything like that see he's putting this propaganda out there that we know where he got it from as far as black people being violent and all this that and the third we know where he got that from and he's leaving this comment under there because he again this video that he and his co-host did was nothing but pure gaslight and he feels that it worked mind you he's tweeting from his new account because when I looked over in his bio and it said new account, it says new main account. And then it said that the account had like 15,000 followers. I said that count is pretty low for someone who has a lot of followers on social media. And then it turns out, I think his ex account went, I don't know if it got shut down or whatever the case may be, but remember he couldn't make money off of that account anymore. So he has this new account, I guess. I don't know if he's trying to build that up so he could try to make money off of that. It's like that wouldn't work either because they know it's you. So I don't know if his other account got shut down or what. Like I tell you, Myron, Amron Foodle, the whole Fresh and Fit brand, it has been one big walking L ever since they got demonetized last year. And then it's been nothing but L after L after L after L after L. And you want to know what's so crazy? The people that they attack, which is us, had nothing to do with why they were demonetized on every platform they got demonetized on. We had nothing to do with it. It was usually because they were talking about, you know who I'm, the, 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 as Rob would say, the Sombrerito. That's mainly why they got demonetized. At least when them talking about it in the tone that they were talking about them in. See, they don't know how to talk about a particular group that, uh, that they feel should not be talked about in a way where you're not coming at it completely off the rails. He comes at it at a, at a form as if he's a white supremacist. And we know how they talk about them. 
that's how he comes at it and he feels like oh they got me again because i said this about them oh they got me again they violated my uh, freedom of speech they didn't violate anything you violated their terms of service you violated their community guidelines yeah see myron is so dumb let's just put it with out there that he thinks that he can get up there with all the people that he's had on his platform all those women and all that say all those things about them and he's good that that's because it is what it is but when you talk about a particular group in a vein that you know will get you caught up in some stuff or make or at least make you lose something especially financially they're gonna get you see Myron is another one of those people that does not know how to read the room. He doesn't. Much like when I did that triple P on that Harrington Floyd or that Floyd Harrington character and saying Marjorie Taylor Greene called him the N word and then him defending Laura Loomer. You don't know how to read the room. It's sad. I don't feel bad for him, but it is sad and it is pathetic. You. <laughs> Man, my God, I didn't even expect this video to go as long as it did. But here we are. And there they are. They going I'm telling you, they keep doing this. They're going to come across the wrong person or the right person that's not going to deal with their shit. That's tired of dealing with them. And see, the thing is, they say this stuff about black people in their studio look at where they're at they're in their studio they're the only two there with the exception of maybe someone who might be working behind the scenes somewhere they're saying that when there's no one there to check them wasn't it didn't one of their their manager their former man, former manager who by the way wasn't even fba himself come to their spot one time like he actually pulled up so that shows you right there and that and that was when it was a crowd of people there like it was a whole bunch of women there that shows you right there that anyone can pull up on them at, at any given moment if they really wanted to. So Myron really, 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 really needs to watch what he says. Because like I said, they're saying this in the comfort of their studio when there's no one there. But based on some of the things I have seen, you got to go outside sometime. 